And in our address book, the first thing we need to do is add a new contact. So we click Add a New Contact, give the new contact a name, and fill in the pertinent information, phone number, etc. Email address would be probably one of the most important things, and click Save. After saving, it's going to give you the option to add this person, this contact, to a group. You can do that here. And your group should show up when you use the drop down box. If you are not going to add them to a group right away, you can just go back to all contacts and add another contact. If you want to add a group, right here is the add group button. When we click add group, you're going to give the group a name and hit enter. Then you'll see here you have created group CW3. When I click on group CW3, I can add to group. And from there, I can add any of my new contacts that I have created. I check them and I click add to group. Now they are all entirely added to this group. This group now if I click on the box at the top it will select all members and then I can create an email to send to all members at one time. It's important to remember that when sending an email to a group uh, you may want to use a blind copy option if you have that option in your, in your email. That way the email addresses of all the users will not show up in the email.